Hey guys, uh, I'm bringing you a very, very special video today. And the reason being is I hope to save a lot of my subscribers and viewers some money today. Um, I'm going to show you how to make your very own stripper deck. And no, it's not take the photographs of naked chicks and, you know, glue them on the backs of all the cars. It's not that kind of stripper deck. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you the performance and different things you can do with the stripper deck. And then, as always, the second half, I'm going to go through how, how it actually works and how you actually can make your very own and save you a lot of money. You know, instead of going to eBay or Amazon and ordering it or through an expensive magic shop, just, you know, you'll be able to buy a regular deck of cards about for three bucks, say bicycle, and then you make your own. So I hope you really enjoy this and please do leave feedback on this one and ratings and comments. And if you do enjoy, please, please subscribe. So um, I'm going to show you what the performance is first, okay? And I don't have the whole deck here because... Um, I haven't created the whole deck for mine either, so um, I'm going to show you with the good bit that I have. Now I have um, a deck of cards here. They're all different. It's, um, they're all different. It's not rigged at all. So uh, I'm going to ask the spectator to pick a card, and better yet, point out a card, and he's going to say, "What if you say stop here? I'm going to take this card and show it to him, okay? And I'll place that same card." In the middle of the deck. Now I'm going to square the pack up. I'm just going to shuffle it. Let's give it a good fair shuffle. Okay, a little overhand now. And then I'm going to tell him, okay, so there's no possible way I know where your card is, correct? And inspectors say, well, no, because you just shuffled the deck, you know? So I say, okay, well, I'm going to square the pack up, okay? And on the count of three, I'm going to pull your card out of the deck. One, two, three. Okay? And I show him, is this your card? That jack of clubs. The spectator is going to say, yeah. And I'm going to tell him, you know what? I got one better for you. And I say there's two people with him. There's a friend with him. I'm going to say, okay, I want you both to pick a card now. First, you tell me you want to stop. And he says, stop. Put that there. The next person, stop. Put that there. I'll bring these two cards out. Okay? And here's the, both the spectator's cards. Okay? Now, I'm going to put each one in there, and I'm going to put the other one in there. I'm going to place them in the deck, and I'm going to shuffle the deck once again. Just a little overhand shuffle, and then I'll do the bridge. A little more overhand, and I'm going to tell them, now, do both of you remember which cards you had? And they're going to say, well, yeah, of course, and there's no possible way that I can... I know where they are. And they're going to say, no possible way because you just shuffle them. And I'll ask them, okay, you cut the deck. And they'll cut the deck. Okay, and then I'll just simply square the packet up. Okay, and I'll go like this. Pull one card out. And in fact, it is the Jack of Hearts and four diamonds. Okay. Now, this is a great, great trip trick, but it's using a uh, rig deck as, as I told you earlier. And um, if you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see, um, this is the one I made myself. I'm not going to spend 20 bucks on a trick, which I can make perfectly fine with myself. But you can see that the edges down here are a little smaller. Little, they get narrower than up here. So you have wider up here and narrower here. And um, if you ask them to pick a card and um, you put it out, you do the same flipping motion I did, so you reverse it. Okay? like that and show them their card that way you have the wide end the uh, opposite way so then I don't know if you can see this very good but um, it's sticking out just a tad bit okay just enough that if you run your thumb and your middle finger over it you'll pull it out okay you see because it's it's sticking out further than the narrower cards which are all facing the opposite way so um and how you make your own is um you're just gonna take a, a just a uh, now file, actually, just a regular now file, um, and you're gonna take your cards and just shave off. You know, you use um, es just estimate it. Just shave off enough of the um, the card to make it to make it narrower. Okay, you just want to make it narrower, and on both sides, you want to do that to both sides. And you don't have to do it. When I did, it, I didn't do it on um, just one card at a time. That would take forever. You can actually pick up a stack of them. Okay, like I have a stack here. And you just hold them. You gotta make sure you hold them very tight and put them against something like this, and then just, you know, and just 
shave down. And what you want to do is you want to shave it. You want to shave it so it goes inward like this, inward. So you have narrow up here and wider down here. So that's how you do the stripper deck. And um, I hope you have a lot of fun with this. And I'll be posting um, some videos up, uh, actually different um, scenarios and different tricks using the stripper deck. So uh, let me get mine finished, and I will post some more videos up on the stripper deck. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I, um, I'm that's my Christmas gift to you, saving you guys a couple bucks here. So uh, subscribe if you enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned. I'm just whipping these videos out this week.